What is up here, YouTube? Jigsaw0097 here today. This was a total collapse, guys. I'm ashamed to even talk about this game. As you can tell by the expression of my face, I just really don't care anymore. This Eagles team is not caring, so why should I care? They give up and they beat themselves week in and week out. They seem to only be able to beat the trash teams like the Giants. When they actually have to play a good team, they can't do it. And I'm getting tired of watching it, guys. The Panthers aren't even that good. Um, they're not bad, but they're not good either. And we just let them come back and win. Torrey Smith, you know, against the former team. Former Eagle frying us. Right in the end there, number 11. It's an all number 11 show. Cam Newton, you can't take him down. They had the same problem against the Titans. Bringing the Titans game up, this is very reminiscent of the Titans game where the Eagles just couldn't do anything in the end. A total collapse, guys. 17 to nothing, and they blew the lead. Only Philadelphia, 21 unanswered points. The Panthers win 21 to 17. An utter disappointment, to say the least. This is the second loss at home, too, to a team that they should have beat. We lost to the Vikings because they couldn't get it together. Now we lose to this team due to a total collapse. This defense, you know, Jalen Mills out there wagging his finger. I'm so tired of this guy. Stop talking crap until you win a game. So, I don't know, guys. I'm pretty much over it right now. I don't really know what the Eagles are going to do, what they're capable of. The NFC East is a joke anyway. Um, the Eagles is the only team that looks somewhat decent, but they're just all bad, guys. They're all bad. I don't even want to hear it from Redskins fans. You guys suck too. You just suck a little bit less. In fact, I'd say the Eagles and the Redskins are on the same level of suck right now. So enjoy your your whatever, you know, the Eagles lost and now you think you're going to win Dallas. Who cares who wins that game? It doesn't matter. None of us are going to do anything in the playoffs this year, okay? It's called one and done. The NFC is too stacked, and the AFC is looking pretty decent too with the Chiefs. So what team is going to compete other than teams outside of our division, guys? The Rams are the only team I can see that's looking so good this year. The Rams look like we did last year. We look like the Rams did this year. So it is what it is. So many problems, you know, Carson Wentz has issues, the offense has issues, the defense has major issues. I mean, Ronald Darby and Jalen Mills are just like a duo from hell. It's like I'm watching Nolan Carroll and Bradley Fletcher out there again. That's how bad it is. It's like the, the days of Chip Kelly are coming back to haunt us, guys. So, I don't know what the answer is anymore. Howie Roseman ain't making calls. They're not bringing in anyone. Corey Clement's talking to Howie Roseman constantly saying, don't trade for a running back. Don't do this. Don't do this. You know, well, then win a game, guys. Until you win a game, I don't want to hear any of this crap. They got to do what they got to do to win. The Eagles have 12 draft picks going into the next year. I think it's 12. So, it's I'm almost to the point where I'm like, just play for a higher draft pick at this point. Just take Wentz out. Put Foles back in. Let them play out the year. And then go and draft your new team for next year. Because at this point, it's just a, it's a, it's an embarrassing product to watch, guys. I mean, this is, this is not what I signed up for, you know. This is not why I buy this merch right here, you know. Why I spend all this money on the Eagles so that I can watch them blow a fourth quarter lead when they're 17 to nothing. I mean, how do you do this? Makes no sense, guys, so... Like I said, I don't know what else to say. I mean, the, the whole team has issues right now. I mean, even going to the coaching, Doug Peterson looks like a dope out there. Um, Jim Schwartz is one of the most stubborn, rigid quarterback or uh, defensive coordinators I've ever seen. He just won't make changes. He refuses. You know, you got this guy, Rasul Douglas, waiting, and, and he's freaking good. Every time he's on the field, he makes a play. And this freaking idiot, Schwartz, is like, oh, we'll just play uh, Mills. So, I don't know. Rant aside, this team did win the Super Bowl, this coaching staff. So you can't completely fault them. But this year, they look so bad. And they're having such a Super Bowl hangover right now that it's just it's absolutely ridiculous at this point. I just don't even know what they're playing for anymore. The, the, the stadium was eerily quiet today, too. The, the Eagles fans weren't even loud. 
It was just like the whole city of Philadelphia has just like lost its heart this year. I don't know what's going on. And it's just a weird, it's a weird season, guys. This one, this is a weirder season than 2016 was. Because 2016 was like everything was new. So it was like, okay, we'll give you a pass. This is the third year, guys. This is the year when you're supposed to be even better. If you remember the Seahawks in their third year, they went to the Super Bowl again. And they looked great all year. So I don't see it in the Eagles. I don't know what their problem is. And it's just, it's ridiculous at this point. I don't know what else to say. I'm repeating myself. So whatever you guys think, comment down below. The Eagles lose to the Panthers 21-17. to We got to play the freaking Jacksonville Jaguars in London next week. I got to wake up at 7.30 a.m. to watch that stupid game. And they'll probably lose that one too because they're going to London. And the Jaguars are just... I don't know, the Jaguars look bad too, but the Eagles will find a way to lose that one, guys. So we'll, we'll just we'll just see what happens, you know. I'm not trying to be too negative here, but I've, I've lost all hope for this team at this point. Until they start proving me wrong down the stretch. And they don't got a lot of error to do it. This was a game they needed to win, you know. They've already lost, they already lost three. They're at four losses now. I mean, this just can't continue. I mean, you're looking at 10-6 and six at the best at this rate. So... We'll just have to see, guys. But anyway, that's the video. Comment down below what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I'll be covering the Eagles and the NFL all season. But as always, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. This has been Jigsaw0097 here. Die, Eagles die is what I'm saying today, guys, unfortunately. But I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.